Justin Bieber goes prom crashing. Um, did Nikki Reed and Ian Summerholder tie the knot? Whoa, and Demi gets majorly dissed by her tattoo artist. It was a busy weekend in Hollywood, and we've got the rundown. Happy Monday, you guys. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. My name is Erin Robinson. You may know me. And this is Dana Ward. And you may know me too. Maybe. Okay, so lots of news coming up. But first, we're going to talk about the interview that broke the internet over the weekend. Diane Sawyer's interview with Bruce Jenner. Yep, like Dana said, this interview with Bruce Jenner was huge on mm -hmm. Friday night. It was on 2020 and it got over 17 million views. It's crazy. Wow. Um, uh, Kim Kardashian actually has finally decided it's time for her now to speak out about what she thinks about the whole Bruce Jenner transitioning into a woman situation. Mm -hmm. He has the biggest heart and I'm really happy for him that he is living his life the way he wants to live it and that he has found inner peace and just pure happiness. So it's interesting, they're all very positive, they all seem very supportive of Bruce. But all the kids. Yeah, but Kim did say they're having some trouble trying to really cope with it and trying to understand it fully. That She even said that um, they aren't even sure whether to call him him or her, like they had to get counseling to really right. not be disrespectful of right. him. Um, so they're still going through that process learning and um, Bruce, seem to be very confident and very proud to be coming out on the show. Someone else who was very proud of Bruce um, talking about his transition is Demi Lovato. So she dedicated her performance of Warrior during her New Zealand tour stop to Bruce um, for becoming an even bigger hero. Now, totally switching it up in Demi Lovato news. So a tattoo artist um, who has worked with Demi in the past is making some big claims about the musician. So we all know that Demi had that lips tattoo on her arm that she got covered up by another artist into a rose tattoo. Well, the artist who did the lip tattoo originally posted on Demi's Instagram account saying that Demi was not sober when she got the tattoo. Quote, it's a really nice example to people you're setting saying to not do drugs, but honestly, you were acting like a full-time slob. She goes on to claim that Demi did not pay for the tattoo or give her a shout out. Quote, unfortunately, this one is not very good either. Talking trash makes you look bad, girl. For the record, I'll be posting my story until I get an apology after I dealt with your drunk ass and you peed on our toilet seat. I'm just wondering like what took so long for her to speak out about this? Maybe it's that Demi was like outwardly dissing the lip vagina tattoo. I also love that Demi posted on Twitter her little emoji responses, mm -hmm. which basically clearly says, a response. I don't give up about what you think. I'm glad I got it removed. A lot of drama in the world of tattoos in Hollywood. I know, that sets me right up. Tyga, you guys, who has been dating Kylie Jenner, whether or not they like to admit it publicly, they totally are. Yeah. Over the weekend, Tyga got a tattoo mm. of Kylie's name on his arm. Now, this happened the day after all this drama went down online when Tyga's ex posted screen grabs of texts from Tyga to her that made it seem like he wanted to get back together with her, basically Stirring dissing Kylie Jenner and saying, oh, he doesn't want to be with you, he wants to be with me. See, well, Tyga says, you know what? You're not gonna have the last word. I'm gonna have the last word on my arm. Oh my and he arm. was posing in a photo with a fan and clearly showing off his new ink. And I could not believe that he did this. Oh, uh, me either. Like, it's the kiss of death to it relationships. Is. You is. just don't do it. And you guys, we are sending support to our girl Ariana Grande. And not because of the whole breakup with Big Sean. No. It's because her stalker is back. So TMZ reports that just last month, her stalker, uh, a guy by the name of Timothy Normandon, showed up at her tour stop in Connecticut for which he was arrested for criminal trespass and then he was released on a $5,000 bond. So we're sending our love and support to Ariana Grande. Girl, be safe out there. Mm -hmm. Speaking of respecting boundaries, uh, Justin Bieber was bold by <laughs> crashing a prom this yes. weekend in Southern California and there were no boundaries had nope. during this experience. So this all went down at a high school prom in Chatsworth, Chatsworth Carter High School. And as you can imagine, these girls lost their minds. 
it sounds like it's not a horror movie I think these girls are having a good time yeah. and the reason why I think so is they all went to social media to tweet out thank you Justin Bieber for the best prom and also this one said I danced with Justin Bieber at my prom and then Justin also tweeted out his love he said always wanted to go to prom thanks for having me hashtag prom Crasher. So also over the weekend, it was a big birthday celebration for Gigi Hadid. We all know she turned 20 last week and she was actually living it up. She hosted a big birthday dinner in New York City at a restaurant that's very popular called Red Sticks. And her friend Kendall Jenner was on site as well to celebrate. And I love that Kendall posted this photo of the two and they're holding a sign that says BFFs. And then there's also a sign that says single. And I kind of feel like Kendall is speaking to us all and she's knocking down all of those Justin Bieber dating rumors that have been milling about for months now. And she's just like, hey guys, I'm single. And I'm mingling. Mm-hmm. It's Monday, so that means it's time to get messy. Messy. Miley Cyrus and Patrick Schwarzenegger broke up, you guys, and we hop all this. What's <laughs> wall? Hop, hop. Lingering. Lingering in your body. Inside oh, of you. I didn't like that. They were lingering in your body. <laughs> <laughs> wishy washy, wishy washy. That's the news we cover. Wishy washy, wishy washy. Don't listen to us. Otherwise, you'll die and we'll put you down to sleep for a while and then you'll wake up. Okay, now it's time for the top story and oh my gosh, this news is shocking. <sighs> Ian Summerholder and Nikki Reed tied the knot over the weekend. They got married what? in the most surprising couples news we've had on the show in a long time. It so is true. true. Ian and Nikki got married in a surprise ceremony over the weekend in Malibu. It was an outdoor wedding. Um, and there are some photos that are coming out, but we know that they were all both dressed in white. Everything mm -hmm. looked like very floral and light and airy. It looked like a great Springtime, spring right? summer wedding. But we kind of saw this coming if you were paying attention to Ian's tweets, because earlier in the day, he tweeted out the sweetest message. He said, quote, most beautiful morning ever Aww. and reportedly at the wedding in lieu of gifts they didn't want people to bring them gifts because they're rich they, let's be honest they don't need gifts they just wanted people to donate to their animal charity so i think this is so cool um and i am very happy for them i'm very happy for them as well and i did hear that they're on their way to their honeymoon because my friend megan ranks yeah was standing next to them at the airport this morning really she was going to new york so i think they're going maybe to europe girl that's amazing but we'll know by the time the show's live, we'll know. So that was a lot of stuff to get through. A couple of questions. You guys, what do you think of Tyga tattooing Kylie's name on his arm? Should he have done that? Was it the kiss of death? Yes. Or the was. tat of death? The tat of death. Yes. And we want to know what would you do if Justin Bieber showed up at your prom? Would you go up to him? Would you Dougie with him? I wouldn't be able to hold my letter, I don't think. I think I would pee my pants. That would be a memorable prom indeed. <laughs> for so, both of us. <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. And thanks so much for checking out DHR. I'm Dana Ward with Erin Robinson. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for more Scoop Straight from Hollywood. Miley Cyrus was making out with all kinds of people mwah, post mwah, her mwah. Patrick breakup. And we have the details on the box on the left. Um, and the box to the right, it's all about Demi Lovato and how she said that she tried the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Uh, yeah, those details are there on the right. Crazy.